Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, Michael speaking, and today, a very specific error message. Sorry, this video cannot be played. That's the message when you sometimes see when you're trying to play back your favorite video. If you have ever encountered this, we hear you, and in the next minutes, we're going to teach you how to fix that. Let's go! Now, jumping straight to today's topic, video playback issues. Yes, they can occur. Actually, this can happen very often, especially when we have to handle a lot of files and we have to play them back on various players and operating systems. And we've put together a number of techniques which can sort things out, especially if you can't play back this latest video you've just shot with your new favorite camera. The errors you could experience are various. For instance, error code 22403, which occurs when you try to play back a WMV or an MOV file. Or sometimes it's the codec, trying to play back H.264 or H.265. Similarly, there are dozens of other video errors that could trigger a different reason preventing you to play back a file. And here's a quick list with the most common suspects, like inappropriate video codec, which could prevent a playback of the video, or you can just hear the sound or probably just see the image without the sound and vice versa. Outdated media player. Codecs are getting updated. Therefore, we need to keep our players up to date. Make sure that you download the latest version. Outdated browser, which similar to media players, have to be up to date. We can also experience compatibility issues between different operating systems or types of files to be played back or a faulty browser extension or add-on, which can very often be the case if you struggle with online videos, especially in YouTube. All right, we know now about the possible reasons. Let's talk about how to fix these issues. Starting with the first code, 224003, which we mentioned at the start, as the name implies, this is an error code which is issued by the JW player, which is a built-in media player that the majority of browsers are using. To fix the issue, the most optimal solution is simply to update your Google Chrome browser to the latest version and to clear the cache files. Another error code, 102630. Firefox users know about it very well. It's been reported multiple times. Again, that's a JW player error which is triggered when the user tries to place an empty media playlist. So if your browser is displaying this error, make sure to double check the path of the playlist you have requested. If you've ever taken an online course, you've most likely encountered this video file cannot be played error 232011. If you're facing the same error, try switching to another browser. In case you're using a VPN, make sure to turn it off before playing the online course. And that's the most annoying one. Although this error HTML5, this video cannot be played, is usually occurring due to backend issues, it can also appear if your browser doesn't support HTML5 video codecs, which nowadays is rare, but possible. In that situation, you can either update your browser to the latest version or try playing the video in another browser. So far so good, and you can see that these solutions are not too difficult, but these are only concerning online content. How about playing locally saved video files, because there are common issues over there as well. The first bit of troubleshooting, which we are basing on common sense, is of course trying another player. So if your current media player doesn't support the video file format, it's better to switch to a different media player, especially if that different media player has integrated codecs. VLC, the one that we very often recommend and that supports the majority of the file formats, Make sure to install it from the official VLC website in case you haven't done it already. Okay, here's another situation. If you already have VLC, but you're still getting an error because of a corrupted video file, there still is a way out. So let's try to do it. Go to the folder where the affected video is residing and rename the file to extension .avi. Open VLC, hit the tools followed by preferences. Go to inputs codecs and choose Always Fix, and then save the section. If VLC player is not helping and is unable to recover the video files and possibly you have no other way out, I think it's time to bring in our award-winning video repair software. Let's go ahead and open Wondershare Video Repair. Our video repair tool is available for both Windows and Mac OS and everything you have to do is to launch the app, then select the file, 
click the repair button on the bottom right corner and this is going to begin the repairing process. As soon as the process completes, tap this triangle looking play button to preview the repaired video. If there is no any other issue about the repaired video, tap the save all button in order to export the file. In case the file is still not readable, tap the advanced repair button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now you're going to have to add a sample file, which is going to be used by the software to repair your video file. Basically it's taking the structure of a healthy file and applying it onto the corrupted one. Tap the folder icon to choose the sample file and then tap the repair button. This is going to take a bit longer time, but trust me, you're going to like the outcomes. All right, that's it for today. I really hope you're no longer going to see this error message. Sorry, cannot play back this video file or any other related error messages you might receive. If the freeware VLC player doesn't help, we of course have our professional grade solution, the Video Repair 2, which is available for both Mac OS and Windows and more about it, you can find in the description of this video. For any questions or follow-up comments, there's the section right below. And in case you enjoy such practical data solution videos, we'll be happy to host you with another episode. Make sure to be subscribed and we'll see you in a few days time. I'm Michael, wishing you a fantastic day. Bye.